Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Learning. In this episode, I will be showing you how to bake a sequence of texture using Blender. And one way to do it is to use this add-on called Bake PBR from Oscar Art from Eugenio. So, yeah, once you have that installed, if you go to Cycles, you will see here Bake PBR, and you can have these options render sequence and since this is actually PBR and Oscar art actually told me don't use it on PB I mean you can you can bake the the sequence but it's recommended to just use the emissions because if you have sequence of PBR it's gonna be pretty strange uh, maybe PBR physically based render will be confused or something but you can give it a try um, why not because it's uh, in blender you can do it so uh, we can try using cycles shader and again just maybe just plug it into emission so it's very simple this way and we can try any of the 4d texture so any of this procedural texture if it has 40 and uh, maybe for noi so with 40 you already have this value that you can animate okay so yeah we can use a value and we just plug in a frame into this so it's a it's gonna update this is a python uh code if you use a hash and then frame you, you're gonna have this value and you just plug it in here and let's see the result it's very quickly you have this super random Voronoi square you can also have it like this kind of let's do it this way it's kind of easy easy to understand okay let's settle with this okay flickering but it's okay so let's use a uh, mass if you like just multiply this so let's save this first animated texture take I think video texture will be quite common in the future in the near future uh, especially for AR you want to be able to project anything into 3d objects not just video of course you want to project like UI interface and you want to be able to touch it somehow okay so let's let's say we are happy with this we want to bake it before we bake anything by default cycles render will render at this sampling value is actually really high to sample it once in this case it will work and it's gonna be a lot faster selected to active should be off because we only have a single object get the ng copy that's fine render sequence bake pbr so by default it's gonna look at this name the object name cube and it's gonna output it on the desktop under a folder called image so this is on my mac so this is what i did the other day uh, maybe you can check okay Okay, today so right away we have this render we also have the EXR the PNG one looks kind of funny it's a bit darker maybe it's more correct the EXR is brighter so which one is correct seems like the EXR always give better results I don't know I don't know why but see when you're backing uh, and rendering sequence uh, make sure that you also have the UV uh, already assigned properly so for each object the UV is gonna be different oh actually I'm rendering too many frames so maybe I should restart objects now not just the cube you can actually test the cube uh, the EXR render, but 
usually it's gonna render the ESR and then the PNG PNG is a bit darker that's maybe because of the color uh, what do you call it uh, let's see color profile here so let's reopen texture weight render one sample we can actually test it out so with a cube so this is another cube we can import image as planes shadeless just import our a cube uh, emission there's actually a way to filter this out I think okay that's not how animated in sequence okay that's that's the wrong way to do it image import Ah, anyway. let's do it this way. This is image sequence. So is something that you can actually render okay, so this one is like a video actually this one oh yeah this one is the PNG it's a bit darker but uh, looks kind of nice too like that so if you bake it out using monkey head because the monkey head have different UV the output also is gonna it's gonna follow the UV. So with the box, of course, it's gonna follow this UV. That's why the render is like this cross, of course. It's pretty obvious. So with the monkey head, let's create another material. Noise texture have also have 40. So let's do this again value frame multiply plug this into W color oh yeah this is definitely a lot nicer we don't need principles we just need Emission. And I believe we can also use curve. select both of them let's make actually make changes to this uh, let's randomize it a little bit or use the distance distance and color 
So what happens if we plug this distance into the vector or this goes to the color? Uh -huh. Okay, 0 0.01. A little bit strange, but it's fun. Procedural texture is really, really fun. Just be clockwise. Hmm, the color is a bit. Color is a bit funny. Yeah, we just yeah, maybe do it that way. And then so we have this animated procedural texture, which is a bit crazy. But imagine if you have this in the, and just put it as AR, it's actually already kind of interesting. At least for now, you know, it's a useful for any kind of abstract art so Oscar art emission on turn off selection to active get PNG coffee uh, copy maybe we don't need that render sequence paid PBR you can also see the resolution here 1024 by 1024 can be smaller that's going to be the size of the video as well if you actually export it as video so right away you can see the animations uh, we can use this deja vu, deja vu viewer uh, yeah, this is actually kind of nice viewer for texture but normally i need to place it on my home so cube is being rendered Oh, Suzanne is also being rendered in the background, but Suzanne, ah, this is like 250 frames. Okay, this is gonna take a while. But anyway, you got, you got the drill, right? I will try to export this out and then turn it into AR. So currently, one way to do it is, I believe you can use the web XR to do it. Uh, video texture, any, any, uh, like anything is like, snapchat lens or instagram lens or maybe tiktok lens that support video texture can can import this and applying it as texture is actually quite nice but i know uh if you use xcode or swift maybe swift playground you can use video texture but that's uh, you require ios 14 on iphone and ipad uh, let's yeah let's try this anyway so so that's pretty much it with in Blender, there's a lot of possibilities with the uh, procedural texture, and this render sequence is really cool. If you want, uh, in the past, I I'm actually using uh, dynamic paint feature of Blender. With dynamic paint, you can have this kind of a cool liquid simulations on the surface of objects, and you can actually render that out. So that's also one another possibilities. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you find this interesting and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.